Hey, what's up guys? Yes, it's your main man JB, and in this video, I'm checking out these roller cages and these roller sleeves I've been sent by two fussy blokes. So I've got quite a collection here. So first of all, thank you very much to two fussy blokes for sending these to me, uh, giving me the opportunity to check these out. And it just so happens I'm in the middle of decorating this room and I've actually painted all the room behind that you can't see but I've actually got these two sections of wall, these alcoves if you like, um, that are going to be painted in this green. Now I've already done the cutting in and all I've got left to do now is do two coats, because it is going to have two coats, um, using the roller. So I need to roll the wall and I'm going to be using the large and the small roller frame and rollers um, to do it. So let's have a quick look at what we've got here. So first off, we've got the nine inch roller frame and that is um, on a 44 mil core. And then we've also got the mini roller and that's a hundred millimeters. So we've also got these mini roller sleeves, um, the semi smooth and the semi smooth plus. Now this one, the semi-smooth is a 10 millimeter nap, and the semi-smooth plus is for a 15, is on a 15 millimeter nap, and that really just gives you um, the ability to use that on a more textured surface. The the plus you can use on a more textured surface. So we've also got the same with the nine inch. So I've got a couple of microfiber semi rough roller sleeves here. Now I'm not going to be using these uh, because these are for quite rough, rough surfaces, imperfect surfaces, textured plaster, block work, etc. Uh, these are for water-based and oil-based paints. So I'm not going to be using these, but these are on a 15 millimeter nap as well. So they're not massively thick, but uh, thick enough if you've got a textured wall that you need to paint. Then we've got the semi-smooth 9-inch roller and that's a 10 millimeter nap. I've got three of those and I've also got the semi-smooth plus which again is a 15 millimeter nap. So the semi-smooth plus is a 15 mil and the semi-smooth is a 10 mil. Now for this job I'm going to be using the semi-smooth because this wall has been sanded it is pretty smooth, it's very flat, so uh, this is going to be spot on. Now the frames themselves are pretty good, they feel really robust um, and good quality. I love the wooden handle, wooden handles are so much better than plastic handles, um, particularly when the plastic handle doesn't have any rubber on it to grip. So that's really nice, it's got a really nice grip to it as well, and of course it's got the thread on the bottom of the 9 inch and the 4 inch, um, for your roller pole so you can put those on a pole for doing ceilings and areas that are high up. Um, it feels pretty good. It, you know that handle doesn't move. I've bought rollers before where the handles are loose and everything. And these collars on the end, they're nice and tight. So it really does feel nice and strong. Um, and that is for both of these. I think what I'll do is just open this up because in here, I've actually got two more roller sleeves. So there we go, chuck those to one side. Um, and then we've just got some packaging there. We'll sort that out and recycle that later. So there we go, there's your standard mini roller frame. Um, so what I think we've got here is probably a 10 mil and 15 mil. I'll just check. So, no, these are slightly different in here. So in, in the pack here, we've got a smooth, which is a five millimeter nap. So that's really, that's really quite short. And then we've got a semi-smooth, which is the 10 mil nap. So I'm gonna use the 10 mil nap. So what we'll do, we'll put this one on the mini roller. Like so, there we go. That looks pretty good. And let's take the package in off of this one. And 
and we'll get one of our semi-smooth roller sleeves which is going to be the same as this one. Always important that if you're using a small roller and big roller to ideally use the same nap and same finish roller. So we just pop that onto there. Let's get started and the first thing I need to do is just wet these before we start using them. So I'm going to do that and I'll be right back. Now, as I've said already, I've done the cut in for the first coat. Uh, I'm not going to be using the mini roller for the first coat. I'll be using it on the second coat. When I cut in again, I shall then use the mini roller just to blend the paint in. So there's no brush lines in the paint around the edges. That's a little bit of a bugbear of mine. So uh, first coat, I don't worry so much. Just use the brush, feather it in. Do the first um, coat with the big roller and then cut it in again, um, mini roller it round the edge and then second coat with the big roller. So uh, I've got my uh, extension pole and just testing that, that, yeah, that goes in nicely, nice and tight. And that is the same with the mini roller as well, although I'm not really going to need that with the mini roller, not for this job anyway. Right, so I've wet it, I need to prime it up. There it is, look, oh yeah. I'm going to prime it up and uh, let's get this first coat on and we'll check it out. Always takes a little while to get a, a clean roller sleeve um, kind of loaded up enough. What you do find the first few rolls, you don't quite get as much paint in there as you'd like to. And actually these microfiber um, sleeves, they're really holding the paint in there. So that is great, you know. You don't want all that paint dripping. And I am using a quality paint as well. This isn't a cheap paint. Um, it is a really good quality paint. So uh, good quality paint, good quality rollers and roller sleeves. Let's get it going. So that's not bad for the first, for the first load up. There you go, that feels quite nice. Yeah, we'll check that finish out once I've done this first coat. That's actually really nice. That's uh, You can tell as it's rolling, it's uh, giving it a really nice finish. And it's, but it's thick enough to really cover the wall. Sometimes if you're using a semi-smooth um, roller sleeve, it doesn't quite cover the wall if you've got a bit of waviness in the wall. But uh, this seems to be doing the job. I've just made my extension pole a little bit longer just to save my back. I am fussy by the way, I am a fussy one. So the t-shirt's very appropriate. This is nice, I'm loving this. Good paint, good roller, good roller sleeve. I've got no issues with this at all at the moment. And the customer's gonna come in in a minute and take a look at this wall and I think they're gonna be pretty happy. They like what I've done so far anyway. And I think they'll be happy with two fussy blokes. Nice. Now what I normally do, well actually in this room I've already been here and put the um, put a coat of paint on skirting so I had the carpet fitted. Um, so I've already done one coat of satin wood on the skirting. Normally I put a bit of masking tape on it to cover up any splatters. But actually, 
that has not splattered at all, which is really good. So uh, the customer is at the door as we speak, or as I speak. Whether he comes in to make an appearance or not. <laughs> Justin, how you doing? Yeah, good. Yeah, go yeah. On. Lovely, what do you think? I mean the colours yeah. great. The contrast is nice, isn't it? But this is this you know, these rollers are really nice. <laughs> I was gonna say it's gone on with ease, isn't it? Huh? It's supplying with ease. Yeah, yeah, it really is. Really nice. And then there's no one more fussy than this customer to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> He's a fussy one as well. <laughs> so yeah, it's actually quite fast. It's actually quite fast rolling because you just need to be careful not to splatter the paint everywhere um, and also making sure that the, the roller sleeve is delivering enough paint when you're using it and this really is doing that I could just keep going I'm not going to keep going and going now I'm going to load up again but that really does hold quite a lot of paint Let's go for one more. Let's make sure we don't get it on that side wall because I've finished that now. That's had two coats. I'll be really upset. If I put paint on that now. Right, here we go. Quick back roll. And for a first coat, that looks really good. It actually feels really good as well. I don't normally talk with my back to the camera, but needs must and all that there we go check that out let's have a look at the finish on that that looks really nice you can see that in the light and that looks really good fantastic i'm well happy are you happy how fast did that take you what did that was take it, only a few minutes exactly yeah. yeah just a few minutes really impressed with these these are nice i like these sleeves it's just shifted a little bit on there but it's probably my technique there we go. Right, we'll leave that. We'll come back later, maybe tomorrow, um, to give it a second coat and uh, we'll see what the finish looks like again then. Right. Right then, we're on to the second coat today and this has completely dried. It was yesterday when I painted it and it does feel really, really smooth. Um, so that's a really nice finish. So we're going to go over it now with a second coat and as I said already when I do the cutting in I'm going to use the mini roller just to blend in around the edges just to really ensure that we haven't got any brush marks going around. Now even though if you didn't use this and you're just using the brush around the edges you would feather it out really nicely so there are no marks but sometimes I just like to use this and I think because this is such a really flat smooth finish I think it'd be really important to ensure there's minimal brush marks on there so uh, right let's get the paint around the edges roll it in and then we'll get a big roll on it again
to it, set and go on and dry, and that is feeling super smooth. I really like that, really nice finish. And uh, here are the rollers, I've washed them out already. They've gone a little bit green, obviously, um, but you know what, they just feel like quality rollers. I guess time will tell. Um, over time, I'll see how they work, see how, you know, how good they remain. Um, what does tend to happen on a lot of rollers is the fabric starts to come off, roll off and peel off. Um, but this actually looks really good. I'm not going to start picking at it, but it does feel uh, quite strongly glued onto there. So, uh, yeah, good stuff. I'm liking these. Nice quality look to them. Uh, and fill, so uh, yeah, I shall carry on using them and uh, see what happens. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you've got any questions or comments, leave those in the box below, and uh, I'll see you lot on the next video.